Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create, edit, and delete filters in your Gmail inbox. So filters can be a good way to filter through your mail, delete potential emails you don't want to receive anymore, and just overall clean up and organize your inbox. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by selecting the gear icon up in the top right. And you want to select where it says See All Settings. Select the Filters and Blocked Addresses tab. And then if you want to go about adding some filters, you can select the All button right here. You can select the Create a New Filter button. If you have a certain email address or sender you want to filter mail, you can type in into the From field or in the To field. So if you find anything with either one of those or any of the other fields down here as well, maybe it contains certain words you want to filter as well, or maybe the size of the email has large attachments in here you want to send directly to a designated folder. You can select the Search option in there, and it would go ahead and actually search the inbox for those items. However, if you want to actually just set up a filter for that, you can again just select create a new filter and you would type in, let's just say it's from YouTube in here. We're going to select the create filter option and then it's going to ask you when a message is an exact match for your search criteria. You can select any one of these options here to go about creating the filter here. So if you want to delete it, you can. If you want to never mark it as spam, if you want to categorize it, you can do that as well. Or mark it as important or red. You can go about doing any of those options in here. And then once you are done with that, you can just select the Create a Filter button. And then all the filters should appear down here. And if you want to go about editing these filters, you just select the Edit button. And then again, you can adjust the parameters in which you want to select. You can also make sure it's selected just to have attachments. So if it doesn't have attachments, it won't be caught by this filter, for example. And again, you can customize the options for the filter in there. If you want to delete the filter, you can just select the delete button that corresponds to it. And that's all you'd have to do. And then just select OK. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.